It has a different sound. It really does, guys. Guys, I'm thinking the code that you find at the bottom of the bottles, the one I just told you about. I think it's looking pretty promising with what I'm going to show you in here. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> So guys, we got an entire case of the all new Series 5 Treasure X Sunken Gold. And we got the hunters here in these bottles that you can smash and break open. Well, let's go through this first with the case. You can see at the front that you got the big logo there, Treasure X Sunken Gold. You can collect 12 hunters and it says just in tiny print, you see that? It says across Series 5. So we're into Series 5, guys. And then you can see over to the side that you're gonna smash the bottle, squeeze the squid, and then save the hunter. And you can see next to it is for ages six and older. And then down below, will you find real gold dip treasure? Well, I hope because there's supposed to be one out of 18 and I think I got the case that nobody else has been pilfering through because if all it takes is one person to grab the gold and leave, you know, they have other cases next to it. Somebody just puts another one because they're trying to keep the cases together and whoa, that wouldn't be cool. So I do want to get the gold in this one. On the side of the case, it just says you can collect 12 hunters and a tiny print across series five. And then on the other side of the case, Huh, that's pretty cool. You got a door knocker there. Boy, how'd you like to knock on that door? And then down at the bottom, you can see you got 10 levels of adventure fun. So the 10 levels go one, you want to go ahead and remove the wrapper. Two, you're going to get a collector's guide, a map. And then three, you're going to smash the bottle. And then four, you're going to get the treasure chest. And then five, you got a squid you can pull out. Six, squeeze them so you can pop out the hunter. Squeeze the squid to pop. Seven, you're going to save the hunter. And then eight, you're going to drop the treasure into a glass of water. And then you're going to find treasure. Is it going to be common treasure? or is it going to be the gold? So here, let's take a look at the bottles. It explains the same thing that we've seen here on the case. And you can see up at the front there. And then you got on the side, you can smash, save, and then treasure. You got 12 hunters to collect. And then on the back, you got 10 levels of adventure fun. So it's the same things we just covered, but in tinier print to fit around the bottle. And the bottle up at the top, it shows you that you can smash it. And then on the other side, it asks you where you find real gold dip treasure. And that one is a one in 18 chance and so the bottle looks super cool I can't wait to take off the wrapper I mean you got the cork up at the top and the cork doesn't come off so you can just you know hang it in your room <laughs> yeah hang it in there and you know what would be cool guys is because it's green you maybe can put lights up underneath hang it in your room for a little decoration you know for Halloween pirates oh and then don't forget at the bottom you got the tiny fine print it's super important that we know what we're getting into it says warning some figures contain color changing finish Woo! so we got something in there that when you dip in water is gonna change Keep ooze away from eyes. Ooze contains color, which may stain some fabrics or surface. So parents, you know, just make sure you don't give it to your kids. Like, hey, they're throwing it all over the place. You don't want to come home to a stained house. Do not eat any contents, dudes. If you're hungry, eat a pizza or a burger. Important, store ooze in sealed container, which is not concluded. So if you want to prolong the life, go ahead and find your own container. It's awesome. Well, it's ready to rock and roll and get this open. Now, what I want to tell you before I open these is I'm as much as a treasure hunter as I am a code hunter. I like mysteries to solve them and so if there's any chance that I can improve my odds of getting treasure in here I want to know about it and so I looked at the bottom of these treasure X bottles and I found some codes now not all the codes are the same some are actually different so what I found is that this is a collage of a couple of cases so I may have messed it up myself I may not get any gold in here I hope not but what I found out is that when I put this together that these six bottles here have a, the same code and these other bottles here, the 12, have the same code, but between the two, they're different. Does that make sense? So the, the only difference on this is at the bottom, you see that number right there, the WS? WS413920 space 03048. The codes are all the same except for that 03 in this example here. So I have 12 03s as opposed to only six of the 02s. So all the codes are the exact same except for that 02 and 03. So I have six 02s, I have 12 03s. I don't know if it's gonna to lead to anything, guys, but you know, I'm hoping it does because out of all the, the, the cases that I've been looking through, and I, I went through a couple of cases, there was a lot less 02s like maybe two or three a case, and they had tons of zero threes. So let's find out and see if it has anything to do with either finding the gold. I can't imagine the six here all have gold in it. That'd be cool. Probably more to do with some ultra rare figures. Anyways, you could probably put in the comments if you want to do it now, just as a fun game to see if that's what it is. If not, then I'm starting from. 
scratch. So let's go ahead and go through the first one that has the O2, and let's see if my theory proves correct. And so to open it up, you see over to the side here, you got a red arrow pointing right up, you see the perforations there. So you can go ahead and you can take your fingernail and try to just to tear down through it, but then I start tearing up my fingernail, and I'm not gonna do that. You can use the fork, you remember, the Little Mermaid, and we got Scuttle. And he's got his own for it. He called it the Dingle Hopper. <laughs> so, hey, he's just perching on top of it. I mean, he fits with the treasure, the ship, and everything. He came to help us out. And so, with my Dingle Hopper, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I guess you could start at the top and go down, but you know what I'm finding is that the perforation goes up underneath. If I could just give it a quick, and then I could just probably grab my fingers and, oh, that was smooth. Oh, look, you can see the skull right there. You probably get a better picture once we uh, take the squid out. He's super cool. The color of the bottle's awesome. And so, you know, if you're like me and you don't want to rip this off, but you want to keep it all intact. So I got my knife because, you know, you can tear through the package, but there's a little bit of tape here. And so I just want to slice it where the tape's at. And let's see if I can actually do this without rip. Oh, woo! Oh, there we go. Here's the map inside, but here's the bottle. Look at that bottle. That is so cool. Oh, and then on the back, you can see that you got, is that an octopus or squid? Because the squid's on the inside. Octopuses are fat and round, or squids are skinny. So what we need to do, is, oh, you can feel that? Look at those carbuncles around there. It's just part of it that's eaten away. And this is what we're gonna do, is gonna take that and smash it. Guys, don't do that. That's gonna hurt. This is hard. We're gonna smash it on the side of the table. Ready? Oh, <laughs> guys, that was... That was the coolest smash. That was a hard hit. It came off clean. And look what's inside. You got the plastic and we've got our treasure. And I can tell you, when you hold it and you move it around, you already know what it is because there's a different feel. I've opened up a few of these already. If you watch my other video, that Moose sent us uh, some of those toys, which thank you, Moose. And I thought, this isn't enough. I got to collect them all. And Moose probably already knows this, but that's the way I roll. There it is right there. That's cool. And then look, that's still intact. Man, I could glue that back on, couldn't I? Put them back in. Look at that. And so then inside you got your squid. He's wrapped in plastic. Just pull him out. And hey, just look at that bottle. That's super cool, guys. Oh, it won't stand up. I wish it would. Okay, I got my paper plate because with the ink inside the squid, because that's what you squeeze, it may stain. So I'm not going to stain the table if I can. So you got your plastic, and I think it's taped up. So you may need skeezers or just like mammoth-like strength. Hmm, kind of smells like rubber cement there. So this one may have not have cured 100%. Get our squid out. Hey, look, our squid has got shades on. I wear my sunglasses at night. And so look, this is the top part. You see how that sealed the top part? I think that's the plug that puts it over. So once they squeeze in the ink into the squid and they put the hunter inside, they just seal it up with a little rubber cement. In it. That's why I said, oh, yeah, that one's pretty potent. That one hasn't tried yet. Let's see if our squid can stay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's cool. Our squid stands. And he feels squishy. You know what this reminds me of, guys? This reminds me of the Treasure X alien eggs where you had to squeeze it. And I better wear my safety glasses. I don't know if this is going to get me in the eye. You had to squeeze it to actually pop it. And so that's what I'm going to do here. Just keep squeezing and squeezing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, look at that black ink. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's just... Let me see if I can get all of it out. So I'll turn the squid inside out. And there you go. Oh, it is sticky. The slime will stick to anything that's pretty much dry. And so here's our glass of water. Just dip your fingers in there and it just won't stick to your slides right off. Super cool. Uh, yeah, see the plug right there? I want to just pop him inside out and there's our squiddy witty. There, he still stands. Good for you. You know what, guys? I think if I would have squoze him through the bottom, it seems a little bit weaker there because the top, it blows out the side of his head because that's reinforced that plug they put up there. So, hey, lesson learned. Um, okay, so who do we get? Oh, we got our collector's guide. Guys, let's take a look at this. Oh man, I still got snot on me. It's hard to hold the collector's guide. Thanks, camera mom. <laughs> we'll stain these towels with the black ink. So here we go, here's the uh, map. This is a cool looking map, guys. Look at the front there. You got an angry octopus. He's blowing his top off because you're trying to steal his gold. He doesn't care about the uh, other vermin, the common treasure, which is what you get if you don't get the ultra rare gold. And so the four that you get is diamond Diver doubloons, deep sea stash, plunder pounds, and punk pesos. Oh, he's punky. And then for the common treasures, you got Goldie Ox. And then you got the angry angler 
fish, the gold claw, and the treasure fish. So that, those are pretty cool. Okay, now on the other side here, this is cool. This is what I'm after. You got four ultra rares out of the 12 that you can collect. So for the first group, you got the gold divers. Now you got gold crown who's coming back. Woo! We like gold crown and he's ultra rare water filled figure. Then you have Exus. Oh, he's a bad dude. And then you got Sir Octo. And then over the next group, you got the one hit plunders. They just hit once, they plunder it, then they're gone. They don't mess around. You have DJ Frenzy, Grandmaster Flash from the 80s, a group there. Moose, uh, somebody's putting some 80 references in here. So Grandmaster Splash, and he's the ultra rare snapping figures. Oh, figures, so it's plural. So all of those in that group are all ultra rare snapping figures. You get any of those three, you got an ultra rare. Super cool. Then you got ASAP Crocky. The next uh, group is the Sea Punks. And then you get uh, one ultra rare color changing figure, it looks like out of all of them. And so that's where you use the cold water, hot water. And he is Iggy Lagoon. Then you got Johnny Appleseed. No, Johnny Rotten Crab. <laughs> he's got a rotten apple, but instead he's a rotten crab. And then you got Sid Ficious. And then the last group, you have the Bottom Dwellers. And you've got one ultra rare squirter figure. So you got Gold Puff, uh, Steel Eel, and Bling Shady. I want to get all 12 of them. So we're starting off with our first one, and it is Sid Ficious. So you know what? If you probably just dip them in water, they'll just slide right off easier. So here, let's go ahead and put Sid Ficious together, and then his weapon. There we go. First one, Sid Ficious. Super cool. He's got his headphones on. He's ready to rock out. Okay, so guys, this is the O2. So far, nothing out of the ordinary unless we open up the treasure chest. We gotta do that. It's wrapped tightly by a piece of tape, so maybe the fork might help us out or the dingle hopper. That's the hardest part right here. Okay, so there's the treasure chest right there, guys. Super cool. It looks like you got an octopus instead of a squid, although we cut through the squid to get the octopus treasure chest. And so we'll just go ahead and throw that in the water. And then, ready? Three, two, one. It sunk. Is it gonna open up? You see any fizzies coming out on the side? Is it fizzing or do we get a dud? It's opening up. Come on, open. Oh, we didn't get any gold in that one. We got a crab, gold claw. Oh, he looks cool. He's my friend. Oh, and look, the fizzy inside didn't dissolve at all. I don't know. It just, oh, now it's kind of dissolving a little bit. Now it's starting to turn orange. Basically, you just put this in there and the fizz has come out and that pops open. That would have been, oh, see, some of that's coming out now. Okay, guys, so, so far with the O2s, nothing, zilch. So it looks like there's nothing to do with the code here. Let's do the next O2. Man, maybe the O2s are bad. They're cursed, cursed. Don't open the O2s. Gosh. For $10 a bottle for Grog here, I better get a golden somewhere, or at least one of the ultra rares. Aww. Maybe I better hit it on the side here, right? <laughs> it's not. I hit my thumb on that one. Okay, guys, you can do a little bit better than me. Oh, this could be dangerous. Oh, cool, we got a red one. Oh, my thumb's still screaming. Okay, now for the squid, let's do it from the bottom here. Let's go ahead and squeeze. This will be so much easier to pop. Come on, ultra rare. <laughs> oh, we did. <laughs> it looks like we got the ultra rare color changing dude. We got the sea punk Iggy Lagoon. Woo, this is so cool. Finally, yes, we did it. Oh guys, look, I missed his uh, weapon here. So make sure you check the squid. In fact, in other, uh, some of Moose's toys, we got double weapons in these things or when it came to the eggs. Okay, so he color changes. So they say, uh, according to the destructions, to uh, put him in ice water and hot water. Okay guys, we got pretty hot water here, at least hot tap water. And so here's the color before. We're gonna do a before and after. So he's got blue up at the top and pink throughout his body. So what happens to him when we dip him in hot water? Ah, oh, he goes pink. Look at that, he totally turned pink. That's cool. Look at that. He's like, I'm blushing, you caught me. No, really. He's starting to turn back to his uh, blue color up at the top. Here we got some cold water. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Now let's torture him. Ah. Uh, 
Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! <laughs> cool, I love him, he's super cool. So hey, the O2 was the code on that one. We actually got an ultra rare and the color changing, he's one of my favorites, super cool. Now we just need to find if we got any gold out of the treasure chest. Okay, there you go, you got your fire and ice figure, super awesome. Now it's time for the treasure. Does it work well in hot or cold water? Let's go ahead and drop. Are we getting any like fizzy coming out? Is it just not like the fizz? Or this is the cold water. Maybe it works better in hot water. <laughs> and you see it's starting to crack the lid. There's like some sort of little tape that dissolves underwater. And so do we get gold. Here he comes. We didn't get gold, but he does float. Oh, we got another crab. Okay, gold claw. So, so far one of the two works with the O2s. Let's go to the next one. Okay, let's try this again. It has a different sound, it really does, guys. I'm thinking the O2 is starting to look pretty good. Guys, I'm thinking the code that you find at the bottom of the bottle is the one I just told you about. I think it's looking pretty promising with what I'm gonna show you in here. Here we go, who are we getting in this one? Oh, that's loud. <laughs> we got another ultra rare color changing figure. Sweet, Iggy Lagoon. So Iggy Lagoon, wow, here, I need some water because that's just like super snotty. We're gonna build up a, a case for you guys of ink snot here. Ugh. That's just super cool. Okay, hopefully this guy stands a little bit better than the other guy. Oh yeah, he stands a lot better. This guy keeps falling down. And oh, don't forget guys, you wanna check inside the squid because we're missing his weapon. I hope it's in here. I feel something. Oh yes, okay, we got his weapon. Here, we'll just put him here. So we got two ultra figures in the O2. Now did we get gold? And look, the two reds contain the two ultra rare figures and the orange contained him, so let's go for the gold. So guys, Plunder Pounds and Deep Sea Stash, they look, both look pretty cool. If I got the gold in this one, that'd be super awesome. Now here's the warm water. I don't know if that's gonna improve it at all, but here we go, guys. Go for the gold, woo! See, this is part of the orange fizz. When you put it down there, it fizzes out, so it gives that cool effect. I don't know if this is just a bad batch or what, but here we go, three, two, one. Go for the gold. Is it fizzing out on that side? I don't see it on this side. We may have a bad batch, but whoa! <laughs> we got it, guys, we got it. And this comes in the code that I just mentioned here. This specific code has come in it, so this one's a keeper, guys. As far as I can tell right now, I could be wrong, but this one's it. So, oh my gosh, you see that? And you know what, this isn't even sitting right. It's supposed to be flat, too. Here, just take a look at that. And what's interesting is the gold is supposed to sit flat-wise, guys. So you like that gold. Whoops, spoiler alert. This is golds we got from other treasures, the pirate ship and also the sharks. So this one may just kind of be a bad production here. So guys, let's see who I got for the gold. And this one, this is so exciting. So if you just put your fingernails in between this little line in there, it's a divot and it's the spheres and look at the gold. So on one side, you got the pirate uh, captain here, the skull with cross swords, super cool. And then on the other side, who did I get? I like the punk pesos. I like our punky guy. So that's treasure you get from the sea punks. Yeah, he goes here. Sea punks, one gold. One down. Now I got more to collect. That is so cool. Here, let me get the fork to get this out. I'm super excited, guys. I'm super pumped because the code that I just showed you, it looks like it's working. It's working. Okay, guys, we got three left in the O2 series. Let's see if we get any ultra rares or golds in this one. I mean, wow, what are the odds? This is fun. This is cool. So far, we've collected two of the 12. Oh, that just slides right off. Okay, I don't have to destroy them. So I'm gonna smash it on this side of the bottle because it seems like there's more to break here if I get it up close to it. Oops. Oh, wow, that just went all over the place. It sounds like that. I know, it sounds plasticky. Yeah, that's another gold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we got it. I think this is it, guys. So who are we gonna find in this one? That's uh, so hopefully another ultra rare. Gotta collect all 12 of them. We're going for all 12, as going for the gold. Whoever's in this one, they do not want to be hatched or saved or rescued. This is just, ah, okay. So there's a different one. It's from the bottom dwellers, Bling Shady. Gotta get the rest of his, his bottom half out. That's cool, look at him from the bottom dwellers, Bling Shady, he's got a huge yapper. Quite the fish there, I like his weapon. He's cool, 
I like it. And what's this little thing at the front? Have you ever seen the, some of those uh, oceanic shows where some of the fish have a little dangler in front that attracts other fish and then maybe it's a little light that attracts fish and they oh, get them when they get close enough. That's cool. All right, guys, we're three of 12 that we got collected so far. Okay, now we're trying to go for the gold. See how that's just kind of leaking out the side? It looks like this was just a bad batch when it was put together. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going for the, another gold here. Ready, drop, let's we'll see if it fizzes. Maybe we can show you one that does fizz. No way, guys, woo! <laughs> Oh, scuttle, he just scuttled. Guys, this is the second gold coin that we got here. You know what that means? I'll say it again. The codes that I just showed you guys that are on these bottles, they're getting us gold. I don't know what else to tell you. I, there's supposed to be one in 18, right? I've only opened up four. Well, remember how I said I mixed them and I went through the other cases and I said, oh, I'm just gonna go between these two cases. I'm gonna pull all the O2s out because there's not many of them. There's supposed to be one in 18. I got two left. That's gonna be wild if there's more. So who did I get for the gold? Oh, cool. This is a good one because I only have one. Now I have two. Deep Sea Stash. So what's awesome about this is, is the two golds that we got, guys. So we got one from an ultra rare here, and then we got one who's not an ultra rare. So that means that you don't have to have an ultra rare to get the gold. You guys ought to go back and watch our older ones. In fact, I haven't put out the Fire vs. Ice, the Hunters, which I have the codes on those as well, but I did it for the Beast. Hopefully I'll get that out soon. But hey, if there's codes and we can find out a trick to find out what's inside to get the ultra rares and the gold, we're on it, guys. So hey, subscribe and like. Like us if you'd like to find the gold, because we're finding it. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any opportunities that we find through all the work that we're doing to get you ultra rares and golds. Here we go. Oh, that was easier. So much easier. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Another red. And this is part of the O2s. Hopefully you get an ultra... Okay, I just saw something that I think is interesting. We got the same guy again. <laughs> We're getting the ultra rare color changing figure again. The same one. Iggy Lagoon. There's something with the O2 guys. So we got three. How many ultra rare changing color guys are we going to get? Well, we can't get many. And it looks like only the O2s are going to get them. Well, we'll open up the rest. But that's the way it's rolling. Here we go, guys. Any gold in this one? Are we going to get any fizzy effect? I don't see the fizzies. They're just not working. Hey, we got another gold claw. Maybe gold claws are only available here. But they come with gold, so I'm happy. Okay, last one in the O2s. Let's see if there's anything in here. Any gold? Guys, I'm thinking there's going to be gold in here. And the reason why is because what I did when I started looking and searching. And so... One case, I just grabbed it from the store. Didn't have many in it. Another case, there's two cases. I'm like, look, I, I just want to collect the characters. I already got, collected a lot of gold from the other cases that I've opened with uh, the sunken ship, with the sharks. I mean, who wouldn't want more gold? And so what I did is I just looked at between the two cases. I pulled all the ones that had the O2s over. And so I could possibly get three golds in this one. I think we cracked the code. We cracked the bottle. Smash. Oh. That sounds plasticky to me. So here we go. Let's open this guy up. And you know, if we get another one of these guys, <laughs> that'd just be funny. I mean, that's cool. Oh yeah, they'll have to buy two to find the gold. And only you guys who have seen this video will know how to get your gold. If I got gold in this one, you'll know the code. I bet there's in one case, there's probably just two or three O2s, not many. So those are the ones you wanna get guys. And you seen it here first. So you definitely wanna subscribe guys. Oh, who do I get here? Oh, it's the same dude. We got the same guy again, um, Bottom Dwellers, uh, Bling Shady. So look, we got two of the uh, Bling Shadies. Now, if we get a golden here, guys, that's it. Game over for me. I know what code I'm gonna be looking at the store when I go into these cases. Out of all of these that are in here, guys, I'm gonna look for all the ones that I just said, the O2s, and pull them. Just remember, that if you go to the store and you only find two, there may have been three O2s in there and somebody else may have taken it, so you may have missed out. So there's some variables in there you wanna take into consideration, but I'm not saying that this is what's gonna exactly happen. I'm saying this is what I found. So take it as you will. This seems to be working for me. So guys, here's another thought. It looks like you just give two O2s per case. One, you're gonna get gold, the other one you're not. Unless they mix up the cases, that's one thing to consider. So if you want the gold, guys, you just buy two. Anyways, put in the comments below what you guys found out. I just been looking for all the O2s and I found them. And think about it, we got two, four, six. There's, so there's one that had a gold, one that didn't. One that had a gold, one that didn't. One that had the gold, one that didn't. So I think there's something to this, guys. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see if this works. 
Go, go, go. And you know what? It's, oh yes, it works! Woo! <laughs> that theory's right. It's two per case, it sounds like, guys. Two, you get one, if the O2's the code, that's gonna have a gold and one that you don't. I mean, that's my best guess here. Oh my gosh, this is super cool, guys. Wow, and who did I get here? They're not the same golds, so it doesn't look like you're gonna get the same golds, but this one is, oh, you know what? That's interesting, that's him. But you know what I just realized, guys? The golds are tied to the characters. So here we got the gold here again. We got Deep Sea Stash. If you look at the gold, he's got a little thing on the top of his head, right? So look, he's got a thing on the top of his head. He's got shades. So there's the Deep Sea Stash gold. And then look at him. Doesn't he have like spikes on the top of his head just like he has here? But this is him right here. So this is the gold for this group and it represents Iggy Lagoon for the Sea Punks. And here's the gold for the Bottom Dwellers which represents Bling Shady. And then the other golds that we got from the others, from the Sharks and from the uh, ship, we've got this guy right here and he's Plunder Pounds. And who does he represent out of the one-hit plunders? Oh, you know what? It looks like this is DJ Frenzy because he's got the ear shooting out. It looks like if you get DJ Frenzy, it looks like you got a real strong chance of getting the gold there. And then this guy right here, if you ever get gold crown, because that's him with the helmet, right? Because he's the only one that has that deep sea helmet on. So that's super cool. Man, Moose just keeps like doing some awesome things. And I love the patterns, the secrets, the tie-ins and stuff. It's fun. So we got three gold coins. And that's the O2s. Now, what if in every case it's different? What if the O2s are tied to all of them, but the past couple of cases that I got only had these guys? Maybe if I got another case as he produces them in batches, that will get like gold crown and then he'll come with gold. It's not to say the gold crown couldn't be found in here. He just won't come with gold. So that's what I'm hoping is to finish the collection because I've got the golds here from everything else, but that's awesome, guys. Okay, guys, I've got Caleb and Jacob. This is so exciting. They want to join in. Guys, give me a good R. Arr. Arr. Okay, guys, you ready to open up the rest? Because we got to collect the rest. So far, we got three of the 12. We got a lot of work ahead of us. So everybody grab a bottle here. <laughs> okay, guys, go ahead and just cut them open. Okay, guys, crack your bottles. You ready? Oh, look at that. Red. You like red? Yeah. That's, That's my favorite, favorite color. color. Blue. Caleb, got, you got our first blue, bud. So I like blue. Blue is super cool. Yeah. I hope I get excess this time. I can I really use him. Fine. Ouch. Oh, look what I got. An ultra rare. <laughs> I got um, the bottom dweller's gold puff. He squirts swatter. That's cool. Oh, look. He's got his morning star. Wait, I think we got him. Who'd you get? I'll squeeze the bottom. You squeeze the top, okay? Keep going up with your hands until you can pop it. Oh, we... Jacob. <laughs> Jacob got excess. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we got him. Look at him. He looks so cool. Oh, what is that? Look, Exus has been just the theme since series uh, three. He's cool. Oh, look. So the water squirter comes in a plastic bag so you don't get, like, goo in it. Yeah, I got DJ Frenzy. Is it DJ Frenzy? Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is this is the head. Just squeeze it. I'm going to put him in water and see how well he squirts. Oh, that's a good shot. We got mom. I got to get it up because the it shoots too low. So if I get it up like an angle like this. Oh, oh that's, a that's a soaker. <laughs> that's a soaker, man. Look, look at that little hole right there in his yapper. It's so tiny that it's going to put a lot of power behind that. That is super cool, guys. I don't know. He got so a blue guy. Oh, yeah, the tape. Oh, so who'd you get? What critter, Caleb? This Angry. A angler fish. Yeah, we're getting all new people. So how many do we have now? We got one, two, three, four, five for Exus, and six from Caleb. Oh my gosh, we're halfway through, guys. Okay, so there's Exus with his ink slime. I bet the slime is from Exus. Okay, so here's DJ Frenzy, so... So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're halfway there. What? <laughs> that was... What? That was pretty wimpy, right, bud? I actually just opened it. I really wanted to so see So look, that. Jacob got the treasure fish. 
And there's Caleb's angry angler fish. Now we're just missing one Goldie Ox to collect all of them. So somebody's got to get Goldie Ox. Jesus, come on. Ah! Oh, Jacob! Oh, <laughs> oh, we got flying. We got flying squids. <laughs> Oh, I Caleb's got his, his, uh... Oh, look. Yeah, we finally got Goldie Ox. Okay, we got a lot of happening here. We need cameras everywhere. So, guys, we've got six more we need to collect. We're halfway there. We still need King Gold Crown. Who's going to find him first? The old figure. Oh! You got something new. He just got the oh, <laughs> You just what? got him! You just got what? him! Yes! You got That's King so Gold right. Crown! Right that is so cool. I'm and look, they put him in plastic and he's got water in his noggin. As soon as we say something, look at that. that just comes out. No. That's cool. Look at that. Look at that water in his in his helmet. That's cool. Oh dad. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. Mom. We were just what? talking about him. How did you do that? I don't know, some magic? Boom boom, we got two rares. That. That is a super cool scepter rod. Okay, but if we did get gold, gosh, we would have gotten this one right here. It does. It's purple. Who is this? Oh, I got gold crown. I got gold crown. Two gold crowns. Way to go, man. Two ultra rares. Slap me some ink. <laughs> Ink me, man. Ink me. We completed the whole gold divers. This is Sir Octo. So we got collected all of them for the gold divers. Man, kids are just having fun smashing these things. Oh my goodness. This guy looks super cool. This guy looks cool. You gotta, you gotta take a look at this guy. Look at the bottom. That's cool. And look at him. Jacob, look. I think you got an ultra rare. You got a snapping figure. I got an ultra rare. It's Grandmaster Splash. No way. Guys, look at this. Jacob got an ultra rare snapping figure, Grandmaster Splash, and so he snapped. So look at that, and it looks even grosser with the ink, the strings. Subscribe to Adventure Fun. <laughs> And look at his like axe, his battle axe. That looks super cool. Guys, we're just like four away from getting them all, I think. <laughs> it worked. 99 bottles of treasure X on the wall. 99 bottles of treasure. Take one down, smash it around. 98 bottles of treasure X on the wall. 10 smashers in the wall. You take one down, you smash it around. It's called smash. Oh, I think he had one hit plunder. <laughs> Okay, so we finally found our Johnny Rotten Crab Sea Punk. Yeah. Jacob, I think Jacob got another ultra rare. What'd you get? Who's him? He's different. Oh no, he finishes our collection from the uh, Sea Dwellers. He got uh, Steel Eel. No, he's not a rare, but you finished our collection. So here we go, guys. We've got the bottom dwellers who complete our collection there with Steel Eel. Fabulous, man. It just looks fabulous. So, guys, this completes our sea punks. Here's our Johnny Rotten Crab. So, guys, all we're looking for are the two ultra rare snapping figures. Okay, my mistake. I, I didn't know his mouth moved with such a big fat head like that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We got two ultra rare figures, DJ Frenzy. <laughs> I didn't even know it. Yeah, me neither. I thought he was somebody else. <sighs> well, there you go. You, you snooze, you lose. So we're only missing one, and that's ASAP Crocky. And he's got a purple hat. Okay, Caleb, it's up to you. Give us a purple hat, bud. I am saving the universe. <laughs> You're saving our channel from certain doom if we don't collect them all. Because you got him! <laughs> You got it! The final ultra rare! He looks like a croc. That is ASAP Crocky. This is so good! Look at that. That's a crocky. Look at this. We got all ultra rare figures in here. And three pieces of gold. That is so cool. Oh look! He's got a cool body here. One of our best finds ever.
Guys, super cool on many levels. We actually completed everything. We got all the collections, right, Caleb and Jacob? Yes. We got like three golds. That's unheard of. One in 18, we got three in 18 because I kind of like took from other, I, I thought, hey, the O2s, there's not many of them, just pile them over here, you know? And what's interesting is because the other cases, they were missing some things too. Apparently nobody else took the O2s from the other cases. I mean, what luck. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can keep producing these videos. So if you guys in the future, if we can break the codes on any more Treasure X's, we're gonna do it. And you wanna be the first to know, you wanna make sure you subscribe. So guys, what do we say? Thank thanks for watching. watching. Bye. Woo! Bye. Bye. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.